I support. I support. I support. I support. I support. I support. Make a difference. I support is brought to you by Sari Honda. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming to the first, and I would say the inaugural, Right to Survive of Flanquet, hosted by Sari Honda and by you guys. Glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's amazing that you organized this whole event and made it such a big thing. Well, we've got to thank the Crown Palace for donating the hall. On short notice, we only had this five weeks ago, and we've managed to gather 300 people here today. So we hope to raise some money for cancer research. That's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about Ride to Survive? Ride to Survive is a grassroots opera ride. It's about 110 people we ride together from Kelowna to Delta in one day. Wow. And in the meantime, we also train together. So it's not just about the ride, it's all the training and fundraising that goes together. So you become part of the community of Right to Survive. So. That's amazing. And that all the proceeds go towards the Canadian Cancer Society for cancer yeah, research? For cancer research, yeah. So last year, we the, the riders ro raised $630,000 and we donated most of it to Brain, Canada, Brain Cancer Research, which was matched by Brain Canada. So we doubled it. So $1.2 million went for brain, brain cancer research. That is just amazing. That's from a small group. And all the money goes to cancer research. What you see here is volunteers. Yeah. Nobody takes any money for any of the work they do. And that's why I joined it. So is this, is this something that's near and dear to your heart? It is near and dear. And we hope to do it again next year. Hopefully, uh, Souk from Ra Crown Palace helps us out next year. We want to make this bigger next year. What is your goal to raise, do you think, for this year? Well, with this, well, I, I hope the group, the group raises, I think we want to raise $700,000. So hope this helps them. So it's a start. Definitely. You're doing such an amazing job. You're such a caring, kind person who always seems to help out the community a lot. Well, we're a big, big business in the community. We want to be part of the community. So support the community. And that's what we do. It's so amazing that you give back. That means a lot. Thanks for coming and, and, and taking some interviews from people that are here. So this is Nikki and Amanda. They are attending this wonderful event. Nikki, do you have any advice or any messages for anybody out there? Well, I'm riding for the third time this year. And I just say, if you can ride a bike, you can do the event. And, and uh, this event tonight is just wonderful. Uh, anything that Nazir is doing. He's very inspirational, so we're very happy to be here as well. That, so. Thank you so much. Good luck on your ride, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, everybody. Here we are with Harry Baines, our MLP. Uh, thank you very much for having me. I just want to say thank you to all the volunteers and uh, you know, to raising funds for something that we all are quite familiar with because I don't think there's a family uh, that isn't touched by cancer. And uh, for all the organizations here to do this, the right to survive, I think it is, uh, it is the right message. It also speaks volume to our community's involvement. Uh, you go into any of these uh, uh, banquet halls, any given day of the week, there's something like this is happening. People are raising funds for the good cause, whether it's for the hospital, children's hospital, cancer, Alzheimer's, uh, you name it. And I think they're all for good cause. And I think that's why our community, I'm so proud of that they are making this country uh, such a great country with, with compassion, with caring, and uh, 
and, 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 uh, and to bring it to the world stage, uh, what volunteerism is all about. So I, I just want to say thank you to the volunteers. Thank you all of others who have participated and donated. So uh, let's keep on working uh, so that one day we will find a cure to this very dreadful disease. I agree, let's continue working for that. And also thank you to you too, because if we didn't have such amazing leaders like you helping us and helping us with such great causes and being there, being a real presence in the community, it really helps a lot well, get things you. going. It always is a pleasure because uh, uh, we have, uh, the community placed us in a position to uh, uh, show the leadership and, 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 uh, and uh, show that we can actually do it and uh, a community is delivering, so I, I, I'm so proud of it. So, are you excited for the event tonight? I'm very much excited for the event, and uh, I know they always do an excellent job, and uh, uh, in, in addition to uh, raising funds for cancer, uh, but the entertainment and how they look after every person who come here, I think uh, it just shows uh, the dedication and commitment that they have, and and the organization skills that they have. So I'm really happy to, to, to see that. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Yep. So we are here with... Vicki Greenwood. Rochelle Davidson. So do you guys have any messages for anybody who's battling cancer or families or survivors? Well, it's quite interesting. Both of us are survivors. We're both breast cancer survivors, both right to survive riders and we do it because we can we can and um, I personally am doing this for the ninth year because I know in my lifetime that we're gonna find a way where no one else dies from cancer so that's why I continue riding yeah. and I personally do it as a survivor because I never have felt more alive in my life than when I'm on my bike and I just really connect to a lot of the people that have passed in my life when I'm when I'm out there doing that ride and it makes me think as well that we're going to find a cure and a little bit every year helps. That's amazing. That's amazing with your guys' belief and it's going to happen. I believe it. For sure. Thanks very much. Hi, this is Huss and you're watching Close Look. Thank you. Hey everybody, we are here with our amazing mayor ride to survive do you have any messages for this whole event today well first of all this is going to be a great event I've got my high hopes that everybody will dig deep in their pockets to help with the ride to help ride to survive in the Canadian Cancer Society and I'm really looking forward to a great evening and do you have any messages to our closed look viewers Will we inspire you you know I think it's really important that the young people that are here tonight and some of the inspiring stories we'll hear uh, resonate that people can actually achieve anything they set their mind to. That look beyond today and think in the positive, as positively as you can about what you can do in terms of being a good citizen and a good partner in the community. Work with your friends, talk to each other. That is just amazing. Well, I th and I really want to talk about Nasir and Surrey Honda and the fact that some of our corporate citizens are so stepping up to the plate. I think that's one of the beauties of being in this community is that people step up to help each other. So I, th I think that's really resonating here tonight and hopefully we learn get a lot of funding for this Cancer Society. Because to together we can all find a cure and you're together doing... We can achieve great things together. Exactly. Thank you so much for leading our amazing city of Surrey and being there and being truly a tr big contributor to society and community and making it a better place. Thank you. I am a great champion for what Surrey can achieve and I'm a great champion for the young people and what I have high hopes that they can achieve and turn this city into the, one of the best places to be on earth. We are here with firefighter Huss who's actually going to be riding in the Ride to Survive. Hi Huss. Hi Terry. So do you have any messages for anybody who's maybe thinking of riding or maybe contributing to this great cause or somebody who's maybe battling cancer? Well, if you're thinking about it, it'd probably be a good idea that you want to get out there and, and try and uh, give it your best shot. 
Um, we're doing it for a really good cause. Um, everybody has had issues in their life uh, with cancer. It's personal, um, and for the being a firefighter, it, it hits home pretty good. So yeah, if you're thinking about it, um, give it a shot. You probably enjoy it, and uh, if you are thinking about donating, uh, every penny that we raise goes directly to the Canadian Cancer Society. So it is for a really good cause, and we try to raise as much money as we can to hopefully one day find a cure. That is amazing, Haz. Are you excited to ride? I'm very excited to ride. Um, this is my first year. Uh, I've done a few other rides, but uh, I thought I'd uh, join this group here for what they stand for and uh, the way they do it. So I'm very excited to uh, be a part of it. Yes. Thank you so much, Hus. And thank you for all the amazing work you do, saving our lives. Well, you. When you call 911, that means a lot. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mayor Linda Hefner, and you are watching Close Look. Thank you so much, Nasir. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night.